Hello everyone, welcome to another video brought to you by webvidtuts.com. This is video 7 in the PHP training series, and in this video we will be learning about if statements. What is an if statement? An if statement is when is a conditional statement that let's say you want something to happen. Well, maybe you're like, hmm, well if this happens then I want the code to execute this piece of code right here. Well, this is where if statements come into play because if statements will decide whether or not the code gets executed or not based on the conditions that you provided. So let me go ahead and just uh let me let's write up an example real quick in the PHP code. Just go ahead and follow along what I type. Make var one equal five, and then we'll make another variable number two. We're going to equal it to six. Now this is where we're going to write our if statement. To begin off an if statement, just write the word if, simple enough, and then write two parentheses right there. And between those parentheses, we're going to write our condition. So for right now, we'll say if var1 equals var2. And when you're comparing two different things, you always have to do the double equals. Remember, the one equals means you're setting this variable to this value right here. Two equals means we're seeing if these two are comparable or the same, basically. We're seeing if they're equal to each other. So is 5 equal to 6? No, it's not, but let's go ahead and write some code after that. So if, and then we have our conditional statement right here, if var1 equals var2, and then right after that we're going to hit enter, and we're going to put a curly bracket, then hit enter twice, and put a curly bracket right here in that. And this is where all the code will execute if the statement is true. And then we'll go ahead and write an echo statement right here, going echo, this statement is true. And we're excited because we got this thing true and always a semicolon. So basically what we're here doing is if var1 equals var2 or is the same as var2 then go ahead and echo the statement is true onto the page. Now let's go ahead and test that. This won't work since 5 is not equal to 6 so we should see a blank page on our web page. So let's go ahead and load this up localhost php training this is not index this is video 2 at php all oh, this is video 7 and you see nothing happens because the statement our conditional statement right here isn't true so what we're going to have to do is let's what happened if i put 5 right there for var2 so now it's 5 equal to 5 is that true yeah, it's true. So what it's going to do is it's going to echo back this statement right here. So let's go ahead and save that and then let's reload it. And right there. Since the condition was true and these two numbers are equal to each other, 5 equals 5, then it executes this code right here between the if statement since the condition is true. And then if we change this back to, uh, let's go 9 or something and then load that back into our web browser, it won't show it anymore. This is video 2 at PHP. And since a condition isn't true, then it doesn't output any text. What if we do, if, let's say, if var1 is greater than var2, then do it. Then echo back that statement. Let's see here. If var 1 is 5, var 2 is 9, is 5 greater than 9? No, so it shouldn't output anything. And we're right. Let's say, is 5 less than 9? Well, let's see. Yep, it must be less than 9 because the output came out. Let's see. Let's do another example. Less than or equal to. And then, is 5 less than or equal to 9? Yep, it still is. Well, what if this is 9? Change var1 to 9. 
So is 9 less than or equal to 9? Yes, it is. Because it's equal to 9. And we're checking if it's less than or equal to 9. And then same thing right here. Even if you did, if 9 is greater than or equal to 9, it's still true. So the statement still comes up right here. All right, that is the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys learn something about if statements and we'll be, we will be going over a lot more in depth in other videos probably the next video after this about if then else statements well if else statements and then we'll be comparing if this statement is true or if it's not true then else go to this other statement and we'll be going over that in the next video and that is the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed it Go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel and register as a member on our site at webvidtouch.com. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.